Tomorrow is Midnight Madness in Annapolis. It's a day and night of shopping. But it's actually the madness of shootings that has everyone concerned in our capital city tonight. WMER 2 News Don Harrison with what just happened last night. Shots rang out shortly before 2 Wednesday morning on Skipjack Court in Annapolis. Police started getting calls for someone shot in the leg. When police arrived, they found more than that. So when they arrived, they located a young male who'd been shot in the leg, um, but they also located a young male who was shot, uh, apparently shot and was deceased in the same area. Police say the shooting happened outside of the home on Skipjack Court. The victim shot in the leg is a 15 year old boy and the other victim that was declared dead at the scene was 18 year old Sandy Campos. Both victims are from Annapolis. Nice and quiet, not a lot much going on. Albert Contreras has lived two doors over from the yard where the two victims were shot for 10 years. We heard about um, around four shots. And after that, we just heard ambulances and police everywhere. It is early in the investigation. And even though both men were shot, Annapolis police aren't sure if they shot each other. We think the two that were shot were shot by suspects who left the scene before we arrived. It's so close to home that it's actually really shocking. Um, they recently moved in. This is especially concerning for Annapolis residents because just two days ago there were shots fired in the Harbor House complex where four cars were hit and off of Forest Drive there was a home invasion robbery. Four men, two with guns, broke into a home and demanded money. They left stealing the man's car that was found later in Davidsonville. But it's still concerning that these incidents are happening in neighborhoods where there are many people living and uh, it's very violent and very young people involved. In Annapolis, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.